Good morning to all those tuning in. This is the Rebel Lemon, and today we're playing The Inner Worlds. So, last we left off, we escaped the city and realized that we were lied to and betrayed. What exactly are we looking for? My father talked about the root forest in the film. Did you not listen? Well, I was slightly distracted by the screaming Aspersions and the Basilians. The place where the film was made has to be somewhere here in the forest. But the root forest is huge. And scary. We have to start somewhere. Don't you want to know the secret behind the petrified flute noses? Well... Of course. Let's go. Yeah, okay. I, I was just going to say that. Um, well then, uh, let's go. Stop. There's a trap there. Where? Oh yeah, I knew that. I just wanted to... Oh. Yeah, right, Flute Nose. I'm going to find another way into the forest. You stay here. Act petrified. And above all, don't touch anything. As if I couldn't handle this trap by myself. And there we go. Right into the game. It doesn't want to give it up. And its teeth look pretty sharp. Uh, not really. They kind of look dull. So there's a helmet. That's what she meant by helmet. Oh, cool. We got a new helmet. So there's a few things we can interact with. My gosh, even the splitters are shattered. Nothing's useful. Uh, skid marks? I won't rummage around in the dirt. Oh, that's our landing craft. Ouch! A very affectionate bush. Quite. Oh, I wonder if we can use this on the animal. Come on, spit that old liar out. <laughs> Someone should keep an eye on you. What? Nothing to say? Huh, that's kind of weird that we still would want to keep the puppy. If I kick it now, a fruit will definitely fall on my head. What if we wear it? Safety looks stupid. That is true, but safety is important. Hey, great. What now? Brain. I got an achievement for that. They're hanging too high up. Hmm. Can we combine No, these? now is no time to fool around. I wonder if there's like... We need to like either grind down the funnel or cover it with something soft. Too high. Oh. Can we attract it with this? Well, I could. But I won't. You cannot. Attention. Dangerous, dangerous traps. traps. Um, ooh, a hollow. My hand doesn't fit in the hole. I could put my nose in it, but how would that help? Ooh, what if we put the funnel in here? Well, I could, but I won't. Oh. I got excited for nothing. Now's not the time for a bath. True. Oh. They're nailed down. What does Intruders it say? will be shot. Thank you for your understanding. Oh, that's uh that's dark. That won't help me with the trap problem. Where to go? Okay. Actually, I wonder if this will have any effect on the thorn bush. At least you're good for something. Oh, it does! Ouch. Okay. That Conway puppet is taking a beating. What can we do 
Can you stick it in the hollow? So, trap set up. Let the tumble mouse come. Oh, okay. She's watching me. What if I walk over here? There we go. Oh, I get it now. As we go further away, the tumble mess comes down. Combine Hold it with on the tight. That worked. I was kidding. Oh, that's a Adorable. So let's walk over here. Put on the little thing. That could be fun. Put it on. Well, I safety looks. I hope Laura won't see me. She likely will. Boop. Hey, that works. Bye. Brave helmet. You've done your duty. Are we keeping it? No. And I would assume the tree fruit goes in the trap. Darn it, it's slipping out of my fingers. I, I can't, can't throw, throw it. it. Windball. That won't work. Give it to the strange animal. I don't want to beat him to death. It's probably forbidden to feed them. Um. Can we? Well, I could, but I won't. Well, I. Okay. We have to do something with this. No, no. But the question is what? I would have assumed that we would have put dirt or something on it. Oh, can we talk so, to it? So, what are you then? Hello, my little... Can I pet you? Hello, young fella. The answer to your first question is... I am a corv. The answer to your second question is... No, not unless you wish to die a cruel death. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you were able to talk. Neither no I. problem. Not many know I can. Most of the people who ever got to know me are dead. Actually, all of them are. Um... You should know that 96% of my body consists of lethal poisons. Oh. oh my god. Yes. I live safeguarded, but one becomes a bit lonely after a while. I could only imagine. Let's talk about the danger. So, um, would you describe yourself as poisonous? <clears throat> it's the primary self-defense mechanism of my species. Gotcha. So, you can survive in the root forest even though it's so dangerous? <laughs> to speak the truth here, what makes the root forest so dangerous is the corpse. But what is so dangerous about you? In principle, everything. I secrete a deadly corrosive fluid. My tail is a club of death. Don't even get me started about my claws. <laughs> they can sink into anything softer than diamond. I could go on forever. Huh. But they're not actually dangerous so if you don't you're dangerous. try and kill them. Dangerous is the wrong word. That would imply that you could actually survive my touch. I would describe myself as 100% lethal. Cocky. Really? Yeah, seriously. High five? <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay, so that's a death option. What do they know about the traps? Did you set up these traps here? Why would I do that? I'm a lethal creature all on my own. But who else could have done it? Oh, that was a crazy old man who lives here in the forest. For a holy man, he exhibits an exceptional creativity when it comes to the killing of intruders. A holy man? Does that mean he's a wind monk? A former wind monk. 
His fountain dried up. I suspect he still hasn't gotten over oh, it. Oh, this will be the wind monk that we're tired. And then, um, I didn't learn this until after my last broadcast, but, uh, the guy that is a total jackass and controlling the, uh, serpent dragon thing, turning everyone to stone, that's the other wind monk. I probably should have clued in sooner, but whatever. Why does he set up traps? Does he not want to be found? Oh, who knows what a crazy lost soul wants. Last time I saw him, he was blabbering about some secret place in the forest that he has to protect. That's where we want to go. Super. Now we only have to get past these traps. Well, good luck then. Might as well try to kiss a gorf. <laughs> no, honestly. Nobody has ever kissed me before, you know. Huh. I wonder why. Uh, I want to know more about the gorfs. What's so dangerous about your claws? Well, let me put it like this. Actually, I can only move on sturdy rocks. On any other surface, I get stuck because my claws dig in. With time, this stone will also give way. I imagine that must be very exhausting. Well, it's not that bad. It keeps me fit. You kind of look chunky. Tell me more. Your claws really are sharp. Just looking at them makes my eyes tear up. Yes, and they're impractical. You can't imagine what happens when I have to scratch myself. Ouch. No, oh, yes, without intending anything of the sort, I cut my own flesh and start bleeding. You don't even want to know the damage my blood can do. Yeah, I really don't think I want to know. All the characters what exactly are so is interesting. A, a bodily fluid. Everything that one can secret. For example, my skin and my saliva are extremely corrosive. Which means? That means that when it rains, I don't get wet. Because the water evaporates off of me in about a split second. But I could also spit a hole into this stone pretty easily. <laughs> that sounds incredibly impressive. Oh, yes it is. I once impressed a girl so much that she actually went out on a date with me. How did it go? Actually, quite well. But when I get nervous, I tend to splutter. Oh, and how did she react? Oh, she completely dissolved. <laughs> Get it? Dissolved? <laughs> yeah, that's dark. Um, I'm done talking to you. Um, actually, what if we can give this to you? I don't want to beat him to death. Very considerate of you. Oh, now you talk. Do you still need that? I don't know yet. Then I'd let it be. Can we do I this? I can't eat it, but maybe I can throw it. You can't, you're weak. Try it again. Darn it, it's slipping out of my fingers. I can't throw it. Okay, so it seems like I do... Hello, Mr. Golf. Hello, young friend. How have you been keeping? Okay, I guess. I need your help again. With pleasure. I always offer a helping hand to my fellow Espulsion. Oh, only in a figurative sense, of course. <laughs> Otherwise, they'd be dead immediately. <laughs> you get it? Because everything I touch dies immediately. <laughs> Yes, um, funny. What I wanted to ask was... Okay, so this is interesting. So, this is what I noticed about the game. A lot of times, to progress, you need more information. Which means you need to talk to characters. I like that aspect, because I like talking to characters. With those claws, you can't touch anything. Oh, I can indeed touch things. I simply can't do it without killing them. 
but like, it does slow down the game progression a bit, and I know in some, like in a broadcast sense, it might be boring, so I don't blame you or any viewers for like skipping, but if you enjoy it, I'm glad you're enjoying my playthroughs with me. So, you spit deadly fluids while speaking. Sounds highly impractical. I know! You try meeting ladies as a gorf. Are female gorfs as hazardous as males? Nah, the problem is that they're far more poisonous. If two gorfs fall in love, they really intend to spend the rest of their lives together. How romantic. Yes, well, the rest of their lives isn't particularly long anymore. <laughs> How do they survive so long? Hmm. The trap system doesn't seem to be very sophisticated. Indeed. But the crazy old man who set them up is an advocate of efficiency. So... They're not clever, but fatal. Oh, okay. So you're not useful. Never mind. What about the swamp? Smells like a slug that someone stepped on and then left in the sun. Hmm, I could use the debris to build a house for Laura and me. We could live in solitude and start our own family. Hmm, he's kind of creepy. But he... He's creepy, but he has good intentions, I guess. Just creepy. Huge fruits are... Yeah, huge fruits are... If I kick it now... So I don't need another fruit. I could cross it, but then I'd be dead. True. Hmm, all these traps are leading me to suspect that there's something behind them I definitely want. No, duh. I don't know why you don't try and walk around, but... Okay. Claws. Oh! Oh! I can use this on the claws now. Hey, it's a bowling ball. Nice! There we go. And... Hey, hey! Got him! <laughs> I showed those traps. Oh. Got me. Is there an explanation? Um, I disarmed the traps. Bye. <laughs> She's so nonchalant about everything. It's kind of weird. Who's there? I just wanted... You're a wind monk. You're wearing Wind Guardian's red. Yes. This fabric conceals bloodstains. Please, don't kill me. I didn't intend to break your trap. Answer truthfully. Are you a threat to the secrets of the Root Forest? No, I'm not dangerous. I'm the opposite. I'm undanger... Um, Conroy always told me... Conroy? I hate that rotten, devious, treacherous dwarf. If I ever meet that slippery, detestable, naked mole rat again, I'll kick his wrinkled ass until he can wear himself as a hat. What? No, I, I don't know him. I've never heard of him before. Well, I, I used to be his apprentice a long time ago, but that was probably more than an hour ago. You'll talk sooner or later. Hey, Flute Nose, don't worry. I'll get you down. Hmm. Oh. What was that? Alive? Okay, yes, alive. As long as Ro Robert, Robert is trapped, you will play as lawyer. Okay. Small box. No more chili drops. Okay. Take the arrow. It's stuck. Can I take the money? I back? can't reach it. Uh. 
seriously. Yes, that's what I was intending. Oh, I can go into the forest. Okay. So I might have to do that and then come back? Oh, hey, there's the gorf. Okay, treehouse is up there with crazy old man. Take some leads. Don't know what they used for yet, but we'll find out. Anything new? No, but. Ew! There really are some disgusting creatures in this forest. These creatures happen to have ears! And feelings that can be hurt. You can talk? What kind of funny animal are you? Excuse me, your companion was a lot nicer than you, young lady. Well. Funny is the wrong word. Unless you find it amusing when a living creature dies a gruesome death. Depends who it is. True. Yeah, you're mean. I like Gorf. Do you happen to know anything about the crazy old guy who lives up in that tree? Oh, the old man that lured your husband into the trap. <laughs> he's not my husband, and yes. Well, he's a deranged windlock. Very aggressive. I wonder why you he retired. You two would probably get on well. Funny. I don't know much about him. He grumbles quietly to himself while setting up traps. Uh, he's almost deaf. Think about it. nearly one. blind since his glasses fell into the swamp. Ooh, we can use that to my advantage. What a disgusting, stinky mud hole. Thanks! It's my home! It's no palace, but it's all mine. Holy crap, you live here? Absolutely. This area offers so many creative possibilities. How? Oh, a lot of stuff has sunken here. A vase? Uh, an old pair of underwear, and uh, more arrows than I can count. I'm back by those stalks that look like fur leaves and that crazy tree guy's glasses. Can you get me the glasses? The old guy's glasses are in the swamp? Yes, glasses are commonly used for reading books. Do you know what a book is? Yes, are you sure that you're a rational amphibian? And not a threatened by extinction because you couldn't shut up, amphibian? Trust me, contrary to you, I've studied. Okay, get me the glasses. Are you sure the glasses are by the fern back there? That's not a fern, those are arrows. The old man dropped his glasses and started shooting out of anger. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. Tell me more about the old man. The lunatic is a wind monk? That's not surprising. They can't be trusted. Are you talking to me? No, you can't trust a gorf either. Oof, I like him. How do you know where all the objects have sunken? Well, there's not much going on here. If something falls into the swamp, it's a memorable event. So, you just sit here and look around all day? Well, the way you put it, it doesn't sound like a very inspiring activity. I just meant that it sounds really boring. Uh, I know. Oh, can we take him with us? He's adorable in a very horribly dangerous way. What's so dangerous about you? I am to belong to the extremely dangerous species of Gorofs. We belong to the family of rational amphibians. Which means? I've already explained this to your husband. Lethal poisons compose about 96% of my body. Except for this spot on my head. That's just really itchy. Did you just say husband? Yes, and that I could kill you at any moment. He's not my husband. What makes you think that? Hello? I'm a cold-blooded killer! I'm not married. Then I have a dry spot on my head. We all have our problems. A Ooh. dry spot? Yes, I have very sensitive skin. It's itching like crazy and I can't scratch myself. 
But I've already told your husband this. Not my husband. Stop saying that. I've only known him for half an hour. Oh. Don't you think Marion was a little hasty then? <laughs> for the last time, he's not my husband. And if you say that one more time, that itchy spot on your head will be the least of your problems. Ooh. No reason to fly off the handle, young lady. I'm somewhat irritable because my head is itchy. Well, you rational amphibian, why don't you put something on it? What do you suggest? I don't know. Lotion? Lotion, please! I only use homeopathic remedies. Come on, you just made that word up. <clears throat> yeah, but overall it's a good idea. For such a primitive being, you don't seem to be that stupid. Watch it. Can I help him? C tell Would me more. Would you be in a better mood if that spot wasn't so itchy? Well, I think so, but uh, I can't scratch myself. Would you mind? I'd rather stick my hand in boiling water. <laughs> what do you say that? The effect would be about the same. Just do it. Why don't you get some ointment or something? I can't leave this place! As I told your husband... He's not my husband. My claws sink into nearly every hard surface and then I can barely move. But perhaps... you could? Possibly find a person selling makeup in this forest? Enough. I'll be going now. Oh, you'll be back. Don't think I didn't notice the sensual tension between us. Mm. Wow. I actually feel too sick to puke. Alright, besides that last comment, I like him. I really do. Spot in the swamp. Can I grab him? I'm supposed to rummage through that stinky swamp with my bare hands until I find something? Yes. Great idea. The answer is no. Damn it. Fine, use the weed. Yes, I, I can feel the glasses just like the Gorf said I would, but I can't pull them out. Damn it. Alright, go to the forest. No, not up there. I said forest. Can I? In order to get up there, I'd need help. Okay, go to the forest, like I said. Jesus. O'Malley, go into the forest. Oh, I clicked too high. That's my bad. I do wish there were, like, little arrows that were, like, just constant. But it's fine. The oh, fuck? What should I grab? I can't see. I could just start stomping all over the ground. If it doesn't stop screaming, that's what I'll do. Uh, can you take this? My hand doesn't fit into the tank. Use a weed. Wait, seriously? Ew, that's gas. Hmm. Yummy. Wait, what? Now it's aiming at the crazy old man in the treehouse. Ooh, can we shoot him? It doesn't do anything. It's busted. Oh. I could make a knot in it, but right now I'm actually trying to repair the machine. A weed? Slowly, but surely, you're getting desperate, huh? Yes. How'd you know? That's a wind map. Alright. Let's talk to the strange guys. What kind of characters are you then? What are you doing here? Oh, look, gentlemen. We have a visitor. Great! Are you by chance the cleaning lady we called? Cleaning lady? You can start right there in the back. It's been years since it's last been swept. May I ask what you're doing here? Aerological research. What does that mean? You don't know? It's the such of wind. Don't be so hard on her. She's just a cleaning lady. I can't believe it. She's never heard of aerology. Oh my god. I will beat these two motherfuckers. 
Do you know the crazy old guy in the treehouse? Oh, that guy. You have to watch out. That guy is dangerous. Oh, shit. Yes. We've tried to pass him, but he always sends a scattering. We had to leave our fourth buddy behind. Ooh. Oh, Simon. But the old guy is almost deaf, nearly blind, and probably a thousand years old. And you're three people. Are you implying that we should have used violence? Yes. I mean, we've tried, but he's vastly superior in strength. What the fuck? Yes. That's not just an old guy. He's a trained killer without any conscience. We lost Simon because of him. Oh. Simon was such a good guy. But we expect him to return any day now. Well then, good luck. Yeah, Simon's dead. I feel bad. I'm sorry, guys. So, you're missing a friend? Yes, his name was Simon. Is! His name is Simon! I refuse to give up hope. Well, he didn't return from his expedition. Not yet. All that we have left of him... Will be left. Whatever. He was a genius and a gentleman. He invented this globe here, for example. That's dope. Can I have it? You'd have to rip it out of my cold, dead hands. Interesting suggestion. We actually don't need it anymore. Ow. But Lats drinks his root coladas out of it. Yes, it's possible to stick straws into the wind fountain holes. Also, Simon probably wants it back when he comes home. So, no. So, I can't have it? Fucking What exactly Jesus. are aerologists? Is that some kind of religion? Religion? <laughs> Aerology is the science of the wind. I told you. It's a difficult field. Yes, sir. Religion is for weak spirits and holidays. <laughs> we explore the gods' paths with gauges. Are you talking about that box back there? Box? Tola, did she just call it a box? Oh my god. Oh yes. I think I heard it too. Stop being a stuck-up so, dick. please. Box? This complicated apparatus sends out analog impulse vehicles, which we use to precisely analyze the wind. And then we draw these winds onto the map. The Erica Charter. I see. Wow, that's incredibly boring. I have to go. I hate talking to you. I hate talking to you all. Nope, that won't work. Jesus Christ. Just go in the tent, please. No, it smells weird in there. I'm not going in. No, please don't make me talk to them again. I don't want hey, to. Hey, since you have nothing else to do, can I ask you another question? Tell me about the machine. Your sophisticated machine doesn't move. It ran out of fuel. Besides, our friend poured honey into the tank. Ah, that's why it tastes good. And I would do it again. We know that. Just go back to sleep. So he's an idiot. Gotcha. Tell me more about the machine. How does your machine work? It's very complex. I don't care. A little too complex for a maid. Well... The machine strategically sends out small paper impulse vehicles into previously determined directions. Okay. It's able to engineer this itself. So it spits out paper planes? Correct! My goodness, have you ever thought of switching professions? And with these paper planes, you can determine wind current. Exactly. But unfortunately, we hadn't yet discovered any flow paths before the machine broke down. You mean before the sleeping guy poured honey in the tank? Correct again! What kind of fuel does the machine take? It works off a semi-solid combination of coarse-grained materials. So, mud? Well, you mix swamp water and sand. And you get mud. But the correct mix ratio is difficult to obtain. 50-50? Damn. <laughs> so you guys are idiots. I All have right. to go. Oh! Before I forget, if you make the beds, could you maybe put little chocolate mints on the pillows? Oh yes, I love those. Maybe I could just put a dead tumble mouse under your blanket. I love tumble mice. Oh jeez, the idiots. Just let me go. Screaming spot. 
Can I? Yeah, no. Fine. That is annoying, though. So I need mud. Okay. Can I scratch his itch with the weed? Hey! Don't scratch! Uh, no. But I can do something with it. Slowly, but surely. Oh! Oh, I'm putting two and two together. Use the small box to get some mud. Wow. Then I'd have a whole drop of swamp water for myself. I could make a tiny puddle or drown something small in it. No, seriously. What should I do with it? Are you kidding me? You know exactly what to do with it. You can use it on the machine. No fooling around. I have to save the world. No, what are you doing? Ah, oh, fine, talk to the door. I have to ask you another question. Hey. Okay, so nothing else. Enough. Oh, can I do anything with this? No. Okay, I think I need to actually ask them about the old man up in the tree. Oh, that thing's bloody annoying. Give me this. I would have to climb over that snoring guy first. I don't care. Actually, can I have the saddle? What do you need a saddle for? You don't even have a barrel. I will beat you. No, it smells weird in there. I'm not going in. Don't touch. That's the result of many hard years' work. That's just sad. Kind of. I also thought he said he didn't have anything. Now it's aiming somewhere into the forest. Now it's aiming at the strange animal on the edge of the forest. Oh? Sounds interesting. Okay, use this. Nice idea, but nice is not good enough. I'm trying. Alright, talk to them. Hey, since you have nothing... Tell me about the old man. The crazy old guy kidnapped my companion. If we go together, we could maybe save him and your friend. Sounds great. But, uh, I can't leave the station alone. Uh, and I have to uh, do the laundry today. So you're all today. scared. Tumble mice are underestimated. Great. I'm stuck in a forest with idiots. Yes. Tell me more about the machine. Have you ever thought about, well, filling it up with new mud? Do you think we're crazy? Um, no? No. The only swamp is guarded by a gorf. And we'd also have to pass the crazy wind muck. I've been walking around here for quite a while. And nothing has happened to you yet? No. I've happened to others. True. Now can we get mud? So you just have to mix sand with swamp water to get it going again. It sounds so simple. Yes. As if we just sit around uselessly. We could pour honey in it. No. Tell me about the charts. So you chart the winds on the map? Exactly. We believe that they reveal something. We hardly dare to think about it, but it could be that there's a spot in the forest... A wind fountain. Where there's oh. another wind fountain. That would be unbelievable. If the map is completed, you could determine where it is. Of course. We're aerologists. We're scientists. Honey. Okay, now I'm interested. How long Tell me have more. you been working on that map? How long? One year, two years, ten years... Since oh. last Tuesday. Oh, I don't know. I'm able to pinpoint winds exactly, but I never know what time it is. So you guys are idiots. Wonderful. Alright. I have I'm to go. Bored. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus. The idiots. Why? Actually, can I give you the little lunchbox? Do you still need that? 
Maybe. Lloyd, let it be. Can I do anything with the debris? It's not usable anymore. No. Get the swamp. What good would that do? Should I stir it? I don't know. Use the small box to get some. Wow. Then I'd ha You're a dick. I really hate you. I swear to fucking god sometimes. Can I talk to him? If I could reach him, just a little push would be enough. <laughs> How's Robert doing? Hey, Footnose! Robert! Here! Laura! Man, I'm glad you're here. I can't feel my legs anymore. Ugh. Okay, so he's still crazy. Who are you talking to? Only to myself. <laughs> Hello, Robert. How are you? Please don't kill us. I have to get him down from there. Flute Nose is slowly going crazy. Ooh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Robert, if you can hear me, give me a secret sign. Okay. What's the secret sign? I need to keep doing this until his rope gets cut. Or that. Boy, if I wanted to have someone to talk to, I would have caught a parrot. Laura, help! I'm sorry, I actually thought the rope would snap. So did and I. And then what? I would have just fallen down. Yes, but you would have fallen into the soft swamplands. Sure. Correct. Stop shooting, old man. You can't hit shit. Don't you have any respect for a wind fountain, Guardian? Yeah, one that's not crazy. Stop being crazy. Now, to get that hook. There we go. Aha, things are coming together. Use it on the dry spot. Hey! Don't scratch! Why? So now I got a hook. Can I combine it with the weed? I can. Can I get the glasses? Ha! Gotcha! Wow! Apparently someone stuck two big magnifying glasses together. That's actually kind of smart. I don't need glasses. Um, where next? Hook. What would a hook be good for? Oh, maybe I can use it on that little fucking hole. Nice idea, but nice is not good enough. Fuck you. No fooling mm. around. I think it just needs oil. Give me the globe. That's a good example for. Completely pointless. Yeah. You're a dick. No fooling around. I can actually give this to them. Seriously. I wonder. What's wrong with the pipe? I could make a knot in it, but right now I'm actually. Examine the pipe. Exactly what I thought. Nothing. The machine is aiming at that strange ant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A red button connected to the machine. I have the urge to press it and see what will happen. Do it. It doesn't do any. Ugh, it's busted. I know it's busted. If I go up here, can I give the glasses back to the old man? Use this on the money bag? Slowly, but surely. Great idea. He'd probably like me. We could become friends, cook together, and share all our secrets. And at one of these get-togethers, I could poison his food, and I'd have the chance to free the flute nose. Brilliant plan. 
And the entire time, I would ask myself why I didn't simply push him down from his treehouse. Because the long plan is the good plan? I don't know. Not a good idea. I don't want to destroy it. Um, tree? Seriously. The only other option I can think of is the That's elk. a good example for completely, completely pointless. pointless. Alright. I need free robot. Oh, I actually need to help them complete the map. Okay. Now, I have to think. He seems to be hard of hearing. That thing actually belongs to a record player. Good to know. That has moss written all over it. No shit. Psst. Hey, flute face. Oh, over man. here. I'm not trying to get all these achievements. But I am. What was that? Whoever's there, I may not see you, but I can hear you. No, you can't. You crazy old man. Stop it. Oh. My chili drops are empty. Just use it then. Wow. Then I'd have a whole... I could make a ton... No... Uh, oh, can I use it on the skid marks? That's a good example for... You're a dick. You're honestly a dick. I don't know what you want from me. What good should I start? Ooh. Give it to him. If you want to break it, go ahead and try it. Here's the hub. I implore you, please take that away from me. I right, talk to the ghost. Nothing else. Enough. Oh, don't. Wow. The only thing I think of is using this on the dry spot. Not a good idea. Alright, we're asking. Okay, we feel. Probably, yeah, no duh. Fuel consist. Swamp butter from, of course, swamp butter. Edge, but you need something to carry swamp butter in. Yeah, I know, but I can't get it from them. They won't give it to me. Oh, use the hook. Slowly, but sh I would have to. So that's what Asposia looks like from the outside. But what outside would that be? And who could have ever seen the world from out there? Maybe a mole that is able to look through the earth. It's only a globe, okay? An abstract reproduction. Okay, talk to hey, them. Since you have gold. nothing else to do. Talk about the this charters. This place marked on the map. If only it were already complete. It could be anything. It could be a new wind fountain. It could be a city. It could be a notch in the universe. It could be where my dad is. Ah, uh, you guys are. I have to go. Useless. Oh, maybe. I love. So I need this thing. Nope. No, oh, duh. I don't need. Hello? Serious. Please trade me. Slowly. Trade? Yeah. How do I complete it? Map is a secret place in the woods. Paper machine claims data from the map. No duh. I know I have to do that. Free Robert. Help, you need something to match extension to work nice screen. Can't see what's screaming there. Oh! I can use the glasses. Gotcha. That explains a lot. It's what can I use to transport it? 
This is what you use the Okay, it's coming together. You're coming with me. Can I? The crazy old. Take the glasses. I don't need them in. It could be useful. Okay, go back to the house. It's all coming together now. Really is. Is it on the nest? Come on, go home. Oh. I have to admit that was impressive. True. Okay, now I'm up here. What do we have here? Did you want to bring something with you into the afterworld? Well, not anymore. It's mine now. Got a pointer. Take that. Oops. Or this go. Other than that, there's nothing in the neck pouch. How am I getting away with this? Not a good idea. Skull? Yeah. All right. Okay, what else is here? Um, got the will flies. That could be important. Nope. That. Yeah. Okay. Oh, flies. They're hoping to find something to eat. Okay. I just need to find something to eat. That shouldn't be too difficult, right? Oh, I can. I think I can use the moss on this guy's dry spot. That won't help. Skull. That's a good example for. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Now I'm trying to think. There you go. Hey, I have good news. You're missing your friend, right? Simon, yes? Yes. I found him. Oh, my. No! Terrible despair. Wow. You're welcome. Hey, now you don't need the glove anymore, right? Yes, here. Take it. Simon. Thanks. Dope. Hey, that's dark as fuck. And the four of them are reunited. Well, a good deed a day keeps the bazillions away. Can I take it? No, they should celebrate their reunion in peace. It's still dark. It's still mean. Alright, is it on the little swamp? That's a good example for... How? Slowly, but... Yes, I'm getting desperate. Ah, oh, it opens. Gotcha. Examine. Wow, I can even recognize the Mercator. And the wind fountains are holes. Oh, that's cool. I could bang them against each other and imitate the sound of a galloping horse. But what good would that do? Okay, do the swamp. Worked out well. All the liquid ran through the holes. Oh, put the moss in it. I'm an idiot. I should have thought about that. Up. The fountains are sealed. All right, get me some swamp water. One bowl of stinky swamp water should be enough. And then mud. Nice idea, but nice is not good enough. Bui, you skid mark. Would it be... No fooling around. No water. I'm already carrying... Yeah, where would I get...
Now, where would I get sand? Oh. Uh, good question. No, it's. Can I just pull it in? Mud needs to go in there? A mixture of swamp, swamp water, water and, and sand? sand? That's almost as stupid as honey. Um, it's all here. Actually, let's talk to them now that we have the uh, swamp. Hey, water. since you have enough. Hey! There we go, new options. Talk about Robert. So guys, I brought your buddy back. Now, can you help me to find my friend? What? Can't you see we're grieving here? Oh my god. Oh, Callus. His dead body hasn't even gone cold. Yes, it has! It's a skull. His body is gone. Oh, Simon. <sighs> There's no point. Talk about the skull. Hey, isn't it great that you've all been reunited? Yes, it's almost like the old days. Only that Simon is less lively now. True. Um, I have to go. Oh! I do kind of feel bad for them. Not enough to actually care, though. Nice idea. Actually, can I give them the pointer? Thanks, but we have enough of these. No. I don't know, I'd use it on the... Nice idea. Huh. <laughs> has to be sand somewhere, right? Oh, I can actually press spacebar to skip some of these. That's cool. Hey, now we're up here. Nice Welcome. idea. No. There's nowhere to hide from the shooting maniac. Is there anything else up here? Let's see what we can do with it. Okay. Excuse me? No. Not with bare hands. With a pointer? Nope. Slowly, but... Yes, I'm getting desperate. Shut up. That's how it usually goes. That idiot. I should just leave him hanging up there. So. No, there's no way. Alright. Get out of here. There has to be sand somewhere. The gorf has to know, right? I have to bust you. Hey. He doesn't. Enough. Oh. Wow. On the view? No, Conroy's waiting there to kill me. True. Sheer destruction. That's what my dad used to call me sometimes. I can't do anything with bare hands. So I do need it. Nice idea. Hey, a golden vine. Oh no, it's only sand. Oh. That is dumb. Now that I have sand and swamp water, I think I'm all set. Perhaps. Uh. Great. Okay, I will admit that is kind of dumb for the sheer fact that like it should have like disturbed the sand so you could see it jeez fueled up and ready to fire do it do it i want to hit the creature it hit him Oh my gosh! She, she really, really did, did it. it! 
The maid fixed our machine. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Yes, Fiona is a beautiful name for a dog. Shut up. Wait, that actually worked? New data for our map. Wonderful. Now we only need two more results. Okay. The machine is aiming. Oh, okay, so we need to fire it three times. This isn't too hard, I suppose. Another paper plane. This is interesting. Friends, I detect that we've already recorded this data. Move it. Now it's aiming at the strange animal on the edge of the forest. Now it's aiming at the crazy old man in the treehouse. Now it's... Yeah, yeah. Aiming at the creature. Now it's aiming... So the forest was the first one I shot? That makes no sense. This better be new results. Hmm. Doesn't seem like that worked. Aiming at the old man. No. Let's see if this works. No, he's just shooting arrows. Hmm. Doesn't seem. Now just move it. Another paper plane. No. Friend that we. Yeah, we already came. we already got that. So, I have to adjust the machine more. Good to know. Let's talk to Gorf. I have to ask you another question. Hey, there we go. Have you by any chance seen a paper plane fly by? Oi. Folded. Consisting of paper. Yes. I just swallowed one of those exact things. Why are you swallowing paper planes? Are you always so indiscreet? Indis... what? Was that an insult? Oh, what am I supposed to say? Paper plates aren't my favorite, favorite dish. But I follow an instinct like all gorfs that tells me to eat small fine objects. Which means I don't have a choice. You do. Can't you just stop Liar. it. I well, don't want to eat the planes. I meant your rambling. Doctor. Stop it. You're destroying valuable research. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. I support science, I really do. But I don't have a choice. Why don't you just eat something else instead? Do you see anything flying around here? I could throw stones at you. I think I'll pass. So, I have Enough. to... Enough. I have to feed him something else, okay. Okay, let's take this. Use it on the dry spot. <laughs> hey! Don't scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, well, if you want to break it, go. I don't think I can do anything with the old man yet. Okay, so we got the research from the forest. Now it's aiming at the strange. Now let's try this strange creature. Not a good idea. Okay, pointer. Slowly. Not a good idea. There's already. There's still honey in there, but I can't get it out with my bare hands. Ah, so this might be the problem. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Can I use the arrow? Ah, there we go. Is 
Yuck. Now the arrow's sticky. That might be good, though. Can I use this, though? Will it come back? Or is it gonna eat it like a dunce? You dick. Hmm. Doesn't... Um... I think I need this A tumble thing. mouse is stuck up there. The poor thing is shaking like it's just seen the devil. Probably almost got killed. Not a good idea. Seriously. Can I use this? The reed is too... Oh! Yeah... That's a good ex The point... There we go! There we go! Here we go, get me a tumble mouse. Oh no, I'm gonna feed it to the... Nah, I don't feel bad. Ah, I kinda do though. Ah, I'm conflicted. Feed to the goof. I implore you! Please, take that away from me! Wait, what? Eh, hey, if you wanna... Oh. Ooh, maybe the dry spot? No fooling around. It looks frightened. Is it with the Seriously. arrow? Seriously. I don't know. Nice idea. Oh. And what am I supp- Actually, I don't know. Stop. So I need to stop him from eating the paper, stop him from shooting the planes. I think I need the little tumble guy. I don't know how. But I'll do it. Nice idea. Can I hook you to this? Nope. Well, I have the extended thing. Slowly. Is it on this? Not a good. Oh wait, 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 wait! The honey and the flies. They seem to love honey. Nice idea. Can I feed the gorf with this now? Here we go. It worked. It worked. Go, 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 go. Now we can shoot it towards the creature. Get the data from over there. Alright, let's shoot it. Oh, things are coming together. Excellent. Another paper plane. How nice. An extraordinary example. Come on, update your stuff. New data for our map. Wonderful. One more. But we're still missing one last result. Look at the map. The wind swirls seem to be trying to tell us something. Okay. Good to know. Now it's aiming at the crazy old man in the treehouse. Yeah, I think I need the tumble thing. Now I have to think. Can I talk to him? I should let him eat in peace. I wonder. Hmm. Can I stick it in the... Please tell me this works.
He won't be able to hear anything anymore. Talk to with Robin. Hey, I'm here now. And I'm here. Where does that leave us? Would you stop complaining? I'm going to get you down. In which condition is up to you. Okay, fair enough. Can I do anything with the clothesline now? No, don't tell me it's it bugged out. This is just a bug if I try and interact with it. Yeah. At least like Nope. Hit this button. And I don't know why it's a um it bugged out. I really don't. No, I don't want to go to the house. Go into the forest. I wonder if I could use the hook on Robert. Alright, last data. And then I'll get Robert. Didn't hear shit. It worked. It worked! South southwest wind. Arcing to the left. Last reading. Come on. Here, it's obvious, there must be another wind well. That's the discovery of the century. Think of the amazing possibilities we have now. We have to make a pact. We have to tear the map into four parts. Why four? Well, one part for me, one for you, one for Lats, and one for the maid. Let's tell Conroy. He'll appoint us to heads of aerology. Brilliant idea. Uh oh. Come on, my dear aerologists. Let's become the cornerstones of the science world. Yeah, listen to the guy who poured honey in the tank. Do you forget your. Oh, whatever. Take it? Yes. Okay, so this is good. Thank God they didn't take it. Stuff is going downhill. I have a feeling about that. Um, this should work, right? That's a good example. Yeah. Please don't bug out. Excuse me? No. Not with bare hands. Okay. With the weed? Slowly. Oh, you know what? Now I can actually grab the saddle. I just thought of that. I totally forgot about it because you wouldn't give it up. It's like you don't even have a bail this. Fuck off. Alright, let's go save our buddy. Fuck this old bastard. So now we know where all three wind monks are. The crazy guy who retired, this is him. There's one in the bog getting um, some action. And one What's that's your plan? Plan. Don't worry, I thought of everything. You should land in the swamps. And if not? Just try. Worst case, you hit the ground. But what if? No talking, aiming. There we go. What was that sound? Hmm. You're gonna talk. I'm patient. I've been patient for 20 years. That's weird. Don't be sad. You only missed the swamp by 20 centimeters. Well, I didn't miss the rocks. Fortunately, the hornet's nest dampened the fall. Yes, but I shouldn't have tried to hang on to the thorns. Ooh, sounds painful. All right. So I guess that's the end of this chapter. Chapter two is actually pretty good. A little shorter than chapter one, I think. Um, less characters. 
um, and definitely more puzzles. So if this continues like how it's going, it's going to hopefully ramp up puzzle-wise, which I'm actually excited for. And I really like the Gorf. That was my favorite uh, character so far. But there's actually nothing else for me to talk about yet, I don't think. Other than it's, we did have an interesting development in another uh, wind tunnel or wind hole, whatever they call it. Which, if the uh, wind guys tell Conroy, then we're gonna have some trouble. But that being said, thank you for tuning in to our frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon signing off. So good night and. Sweet nightmares.